How's it going, everybody? It's a chilly and wet day here. Um, I actually was going to put a video together yesterday. I went down to New Jersey, uh, took a load of corn seed down to my uncle. And while I was down there, we loaded up his old forage blower. Um, he sold his chopper and he didn't need his blower anymore. <clears throat> my buddy Dusty got a hold of me the other day and wanted to know if I knew any blowers that were for sale. And I told him, hey, you know, what, do you, what are you interested in spending? Uh, I thought about it and I said, I wonder if my uncle still has his. And got a hold of my uncle. He said, yeah, he still had it. It was for sale. Here's what he wants for it. My buddy, uh, here's a bunch of pictures. My buddy Dusty was like, yeah, it looks good. I'll definitely, uh, definitely take it. So while I dropped off the corn seed, went down, loaded up the blower, brought it back. And something with this camera or SD card, I'm hoping it's just the SD card, but I filmed a bunch of stuff um, going down, loading up the corn seed, going down, uh, unloading that, loading up the blower, coming back. Uh, probably had about 14 videos uh, to kind of put the, or 14 clips, various sizes that I was gonna put together and make a video of that, hauling equipment back. And only half of it even uploaded, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if the SD card was messed up or whatever. Um, not happy about that at all. So anyway, uh, here's a couple, I'll throw in a couple little clips of, uh, what's up, sweetie? I'll throw in a couple little clips of that because I did get some things, but. Skinny, skinny roads and things. Hey, say, Jim, we got it all loaded up. All loaded up. Just gonna check the load real quick before we head out. Very tight. All right. Tight, should ride good. Time to head over the mountain, get back on the highway, head back to New York. Jim, always good seeing good you. Good seeing you. Gotta get you back up to New York here soon. That's right. Doing what? You're not taping. taping what? You're not <laughs> so we're about at the halfway point. Uh, Stop to uh, I checked my checked everything before we got on the highway, but we're at the halfway point, so we stopped for a cup of coffee. They serve Tim Hortons here, so of course I had to stop and get some coffee. Ah, delicious and very hot. So checking this out right now. Still pretty tight. Oh yeah, that's down tight. I got the wheel down there. My jack did loosen up a little bit, so I tightened this up. So we're pretty tight. I got that pretty tightened up. Like I said, we are in the home stretch. So hopping on the highway, we'll probably be, we're in Mount Cobb, Pennsylvania right now. So we'll probably be another hour and a half and we'll be home. We're just about to uh, hit Scranton, go through Scranton and uh, take any hit, jump on 81 and head back home so but what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna fire up the 4055 let that warm up and then I'm gonna go Hook this on to the um, mower plow. Uh, get that greased up, get that ready to go because uh, we're gonna be doing, there's, there's a couple of fields that we're gonna be using that in. But anyway, I'm gonna fire this up, hook it up to the mower plow, bring that over. There's a slight mist of rain in the air. So I was gonna take them, uh, take the mower plow out and just make a couple laps and uh, shine up the, you know, shine up the shovels a little bit. I still might do that, who knows, but we'll see. But anyway, let's fire this old girl up, this 1992. Let me put my beautiful Mike P7810 mug down for a second. And we're gonna hop in here. Actually, we are about, i look at it the other day. My dad was telling me, let's fire this up quick. You gotta love this 466 sound. John Deere 4055, 1992. Um, my dad bought this brand new. Uh, and we had, it used to be run on everything. It's got 9,859.8 hours. 
So we should turn 10,000 hours on it this year, but engine still sounds really good. It runs really good. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this warm up right now, and then we're gonna hook onto the uh, we're gonna hook onto the plow. So we got these all hooked up. Uh, we have a, this is an old, this is probably, oh, when did my dad get this? Probably 90s, early 90s he got this. We used to have an old um, Vernalin plow and uh, he got rid of that and grabbed this Salford plow. This has done a really good job for us. Um, we don't use it, like I said, we don't use this that much anymore. Uh, we primarily chisel all our ground but uh, when we have a piece of ground that's going from sod that we're turning over and putting in corn or soybean or whatever, uh, we will definitely use this. Uh, we have chiseled sod ground before. Uh, I just like the job that this does better at just turning it over. Um, yeah, it's done a really good job. Like I said, it's a Salford uh, four row, four furrow, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, I'm going to go through this now and... Uh, grease it up and then we'll take it out and I'll just make a couple passes just to shine up the shovels here. just make a couple quick little passes just to shine things up but it's like you know it's wet and I'm just gonna make a mess muddy mess but screw it let's go make some bad decisions and make a muddy mess why not
that shined them up real nice. I was gonna make a big, huge bass, just a little strip here, just to, like I said, to shine them up. Dirt looks pretty good, still way too wet. I mean, God, that's, yeah, way too wet still. Um, this field here I'm standing in, this is the one that my uh, cousin usually comes up and helps us in. Uh, we've combined this, this has been corn the past couple years. Uh, this is gonna get seeded back over to alfalfa. So what we're gonna do is I'll plow this and we're gonna put oats in this with alfalfa and then put it back over to alfalfa. So I'm gonna hop back in the 4055, take this back up top right now. I'm done playing for the day. Shines them up real nice. Anyway, that's all hooked up. Like I said, just kind of waiting for things to dry up, but hopefully soon we're gonna get some nice weather. Definitely next week looks really nice. Um, hopefully this week stuff dries up and then we can maybe possibly hit it next week. But anyway, um, bring you some uh, videos that actually have a little action on them. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you. I totally appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.